Hello and welcome to FCM's Business Travel Show Technology Showcase on AI-enabled reporting. Thank you so much for taking the time to join the session today. We've earmarked about 20 minutes for this, but we'll be staying on for an extra five minutes or so at the end to answer any questions that come through. So please pop any questions you have in the chat window on the right of your screens. Without any further ado, I'm going to hand you over to Stephen Pitcher, Chief Data Science Officer for our corporate brands, who will be showcasing how AI-enabled reporting can help to unlock the power of your travel data. Thank you, Stephen. All right. Thank you, Michelle. Good afternoon, and thank you for coming today. Um, I want to kick off today by showing you a truly magical product that we call AI enabled reporting. All right. Um, so first, what is AI enabled reporting? For us, we call it, we say it's use your own words to generate reports by asking questions. Like questions like, what is my cost per mile? What is my total spend? Or what is my ho hotel spend variance year over year? So why, why would we have AI enabled reporting? So you have questions and you don't wanna wait for answers. These days, people want answers to their questions and they want answers fast. Just imagine having the ability to interact with someone who can give you the answers to your questions immediately. So you ask the questions, they provide the answers as you ask them. So the other reason for AI enabled reporting is you define the drill path through your reporting and not what a static tool has in place for you. Typically, when you go into a, a reporting BI stack and there's dashboards, the drill paths are already defined by the person who created the reporting. With the AI-enabled reporting, you can use and create any drill path that you want. So the I know there's a lot of TMCs out there that use virtual assistants like Alexa, Cortana, or Google Assistant. However, they can only verbalize a report to you. So reporting is easier to interpret when it is visual. So I think of this scenario. So just imagine somebody verbalizes, show me by book country the total spend in average ticket. And then a virtual assistant would try to verbalize um, a report like this, where it would say book country, United States, total spend $5,001,312, average ticket price $501, and then it would start going to Canada and saying what the total spend was, average ticket price, all the way down through Chile. Now it's verbalizing these to you. And by the time you use a virtual assistant and it's verbalizing this report to you, and you're at the last line, you probably forgot what the total spend is for the US or the average ticket price. Um, and that's why I always say reporting is, is, is meant to be visual. And so it's easier to interpret when it is visual. So I wanted to take you through and demo our AI enabled reporting that we have in place today. All right. And I'm gonna just start with um, a simple example. And what I, one of the first questions I was asking is, I could say, what is my cost per mile? And then it's gonna show me my cost per mile. Now, the great thing about using anything like a virtual assistant or what we would call almost like AI enabled reporting is, it's also gonna take something like cost per mile and people also use the word CPM, which is the abbreviated version for cost per mile. So it's smart enough and we teach it behind the scenes that cost per mile and CPM mean exactly the same things. So to make it easy, if you want to do a little bit of data mining, I could then add to the end of this for the YTD and that YTD is for a year to date. So very simply, I've asked the question, what is my CPM for the year to date? I could also do very similarly, again, a little bit more on the data mining side or research. And I could say for invoice month and then just pick a month and say December 2019. And it's gonna show me what December 2019 is. Or I could go in and again, still continue to do research and do November 2019, it's gonna tell me my cost per mile there. So 
I'll show you where you can take this a little bit further, but I'm going to go with a little bit different example here and similarly using what is my cost per mile and do what is my CPM by book country. And then you'll see it starts visualizing a report at the bottom here. Well, when I'm building this report, I don't want that bar graph. I'd actually like to visualize this in a map. So I'm going to just word, put the word at the end of this map. And now you're going to see it come on screen and where it's mapping on screen here. And so I can just hover over on my map, see what the costs are for each country. And I could even say, well, I want to change my visual and say, let's go tree map. And you'll see that it's already creating a, a tree map in the, the visual here. So I've got tree map and I might want to just exclude a particular country. I could say um, exclude Spain in here. So I'm going to use the word exclude Spain and it's going to then remove Spain from the, the list here. So again, very easily, all I'm doing is asking it questions. I don't have to be a programmer to build reports. I don't, you know, with third party BI stacks like Tableau, SizeSense, Power BI, I just go in and I verbalize what I'm looking for just using natural language and it's then going to generate the report. So I'll show you a little bit more on the data mining side of things. And so I will use this as an example. What is my total spend? And again, you're gonna see that it starts creating the, the report as I start typing the question. You can see how fast the, the answers come. It's almost like talking to somebody the answers come up so quick. So if I said, what is my total spend? And I said, buy invoice month, then you're gonna see it start creating a report there on its own. It tries to intuitively create the report that you're looking for. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up making it the visual that I want. And I'm gonna now say, what is my total spend by invoice month and invoice year? And then I'm gonna just put the word table at the end of this. And then you're gonna see it tables on screen here. So very simply, I've just said, what is my total spend by invoice month, invoice year, and even misspelling table. Um, I put tape in there, if I just do table, you can see that it comes through. And I even can do sorting here. So I can say order by um, invoice year. And it's following my every command. So just how you would ask somebody to create a report for you, and you could send this through an instant message or you could send it in an email. You can see by the time I'm typing it out, it's going in and it's creating the report for you, which is pretty neat. So that's the, the first version of it. I'm gonna show you a little bit more on the tool itself. And I'm gonna go in, that's our, well, our financial module. And I'm gonna go into our reservation or pre-trip data next. Let the screen pop up here. All right. So again, just imagine yourself as a travel manager, a person who's an analyst for a company and you wanna, you wanna bring up reports. You could, or you're looking for a traveler. So hypothetically, let's just say um, you're the travel um, manager for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and you want to know where's Tom Brady so I can say show me the arrived city for Tom Brady and I'm misspelling arrived city I'm gonna go it underlines it with red but I'm gonna put it in there and you're gonna see now that it shows you the cities and again I could say map this so now I'm looking and I'm gonna see all the arrived cities that Tom Brady's going into. I also could say, well, let's add Rob Gronkowski. And it's gonna add his arrived cities in there as well. So very easily, again, all I'm doing is just using natural language, how I would ask somebody for report or analytics without having to be a developer or a programmer to produce things on screen very easily. And you can see how fast it is. It's Again, it's like talking to somebody and they provide the answers for you right away. So again, if you're, if you're looking for travelers, I could start typing and building a report and I could say, show me um, traveler. And the interesting thing that we build in here is 
there's all types of lingo in travel. And some people might say traveler, some people might say passenger name. So again, what I mentioned a little bit earlier with cost per mile and CPM is that we behind the scenes create all the synonyms and we teach this AI enabled reporting all the alternate terms so you can no matter where you are globally we're going to be able to determine we can look behind the scenes when questions aren't getting answered and we can teach it so as time goes on it becomes smarter and smarter so here i'm going to just say show me traveler and then i'm gonna then say depart date and you'll see that it starts adding the columns as i go in here and if i said depart um, airport code it then let me split that up there. It then starts building the report and I could add in depart time because this is the information that I want I want to bring up. And then I could say arrive, um, airport code, and let's just do arrive um, time. So I know that the arrive time. So you're seeing that it's starting to bring up the, the traveler manifest here. So if I'm looking up information, I'll be able to, to bring up the report. So, um, and then I can say, just I'll bring in one more field and I'll say, and for um, flight number, let's bring in flight number. So it's got flight number in there as well. And then I wanna know for, I can just say for travel today. And you'll see that again, it's just filtering. It's bringing up all this information really, really quick and fast. So now you're seeing everybody who's departing today. And if there's a particular flight number that I wanted to just filter it on, I could say for flight number 1680. And it will then bring up um, if I've got somebody who's flying at that time for flight today. And let me just make that up or flight number, let's see if it's 1680. Oh, it's, let's see if it brings it up on screen. Oh, for some reason it's not coming up, but this is the, the good thing about the AI enabled reporting that we do build is it has the ability to get smarter over a course of time. So we can go in and we can teach it and it's only as smart as what we're feeding it for information so over a course of time you can add in more metrics more fields um, we review the questions behind the scenes as they come through and what we do is we review the questions and then we say is that data in the tool um, is is somebody using a a term that's not built into the tool and we start teaching the tool and adding the information to the tool so over a course of time it gets smarter and it'll, it's only as smart as the information that we give it and the how much we teach it. But it's, again, you see very easily, quickly, as you ask the questions, it provides the answers very, very quickly. It's almost like talking to somebody and getting the answers as you're typing the questions. So um, let me go back into the demo here. So that's the demo and I'm open for questions and Q&A, so if anybody has any questions, I'm happy to take questions about the tool. Thanks, Stephen. Um, I see we're getting a couple of questions coming through. Um, firstly, how exportable is the data once uh, you, you bring it up in the report? Yeah, so you can PDF the data. Um, we are building it for the future capability that it, it will export to Excel, but right now it's only PDF capability. Great. And how rapidly is the information populating into the system? Uh, for example, yesterday's data, is that already in for today or how does it work? Yeah, so um, as long once once the data is made available to us, so for us, when we're refreshing the data, so stuff like pre-trip, travel or reservation data that's that's refreshed at a higher frequency so we do that 48 times a day and for financial data we're just doing it once a day so the data is there and it's available every single day and we're refreshing the data source for financial data once a day there's at that point there's no point um, bringing financial data in throughout the day we could do that but 
um, whenever we bring financial data into our system, we try to enrich that data on the back end and also run cleansing processes through it. But the, the risk data is, is available at a very high frequency. What I would refer to is almost near real time. Awesome, that's great. Um, I see the last question that's come through is, um, is the system currently live and available for um, customers to be using? Great question. Um, so right now we just finished a pilot test with eight of our customers who have been using it. And we are making it available for additional customers and that can be done um, right now. So we, we, we've gone beyond the pilot, we've tested, we've got gathered feedback and uh, we're ready to, to roll out to a wider audience right now. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Stephen. Uh, thank you everyone for joining us today. If you have any further questions, please feel free to chat to one of our team members here on the stand, or you can get in touch with us via our website at fcmtravel.com. Um, we're here to assist. Thank you and have a great day further. Thank you.